Our Van Jan clamping system is designed to absorb the movement and vibration within your charge pipe assemblies. It's an affordable solution to the common problem of silicone boots are coming apart during high boost. The Van Jan assembly consists of four main components. Two weld ferrules that weld to your aluminum pipe. Both are equipped with high temp o-rings. One anodized union sleeve which helps seal the assembly. And lastly one spring loaded clamp that holds the assembly together. The Van Jan clamping system is made up entirely of 6061 aluminum in a variety of common piping sizes. It has a recessed step in the weld ferrule that adapts to your aluminum piping for easy alignment and optimum airflow. You can find these assemblies on sport compact and domestic applications as well as high pressure diesel setups. Vanjin clamp has become the industry standard in all applications for the intermediate to more highly advanced builds in all different types of racing. Our integrated quick release system helps cut down service time for those race teams in the pits who need regular access to perform inspections or teardowns to their turbo system. Third party testing has proven the Vanjin clamping system is capable of withstanding over 200 psi as well as temperatures up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. But as with any fabrication solution, setup and proper installation is critical. And as one of Vibrant's flagship products, we'd like to point out the following best practices when it comes to infield applications. Ideally, the Vanjin clamp should be set up in a vehicle with a solid mounted engine or be equipped with an upgraded engine mount kit. It is vital to plan out the positions of the clamps as you do not want any movement of the engine to overextend the flexibility of the Vanjin clamp assembly. To get consistent flexibility out of the Vanjin clamp, we suggest fabricating your charge pipe with the utmost accuracy. Try to keep a parallel 1 8 inch gap between weld ferrules upon completing the fabrication of the charge pipe. The assembly allows for a modular movement of 12 degrees. It's ideal for elevated boost applications where flexibility sometimes is needed for expansion in the pipe. If the weld ferrules are touching each other after your charge pipe is fabricated, the clamp assembly will not have any compression ability. If the weld ferrules are making contact with the outsides of the clamp, the assembly will have no telescoping or angular motion ability. When installing the union sleeve over the weld ferrules, we recommend you apply a very small amount of lightweight oil to aid in assembly and prevent damage to the O-rings. Now let's go over a quick checklist of conditions to be met for optimal use of a Vanjang clamp. Make sure there's a 1 8 gap in between weld ferrules when mocking up and after your final fabrication is complete. Make sure you lightly oil the O-rings when installing the union sleeve. Make sure the assembly is free floating after complete installation. And install the locking pin. Do not install on an engine with soft engine mounts. And again, don't forget to check out our complimentary products such as our aluminum tubing, straights, elbows and transitions, as well as our full intercooler assemblies and intercooler cores. If there's ever a time you have a question about installation, please get in touch with our tech team to ensure you're following the best practice recommendations.